Welcome back. Well, back to one of our top stories. Tributes continue to pour in for the late Gavin Watson, the community of Alicedale in the Eastern Cape, where the Watson brothers grew up, is in shock following the news of his untimely death on Monday. Let's cross now to Larato Tipa, who is in Alicedale. Larato, a very good morning to you once again. Uh, very good morning to you too. I think shock is an understatement to, do, to really describe the amount of sadness that people in this area are going through following the death of Mr. Gavin Watson. What's been interesting um, to me is that this family moved out of this town over 40 years ago, but it seems like yesterday when this family was here opening a business, giving people the basics like bread, food, um, the bare necessities to survive. And when people talk about the Watsons, you'd swear that they were here just yesterday. They were here yesterday opening a church, here yesterday opening a butchery because the memories are still so clear about the impact that this family played in this community. Just behind me is actually the church. You will understand that um, Gavin Watson's father was actually a priest and is dilapidated now but this was actually the church that the Watson's family would come and fellowship at. Uh, a community which is pretty much a, less, a black Kosa uh, community but this family is so passionate about developing Kosa people. They actually formed a church here uh, and the, the family was fluent in Kosa and the father who was a pastor, he was the one that actually motivated and encouraged his kids to learn this language because he, he realized that the importance of knowing a, a specific language when you are in the specific area. So they would come in here, fellowship. But um, let's speak to Amit. A man by the name of Chaka Suiso is actually one of the congregants in this church. Tell us briefly exactly what would happen when they come into this church, especially would come here. Uh, there is Umfundisu, who, who, who's Umlungu. Um, how was, was, was that experience for Nadata? Uh, my experience in having coming to the church of um, Gavin's father, Mr. Dan Watson. Mr. Dan Watson was so helpful to the community and the people were singing the African songs, uh, church songs. And then uh, we came every night here and then we come direct to the church and after the church mm, the shop was near the church and we as the community, mm, Mr. Dan Watson gave us some sweets after the church and then we go direct you to our homes and then our parents also were helpful to the church because the old man mr watson uh, dan watson was also helpfully and prayers make it in Kosa mm. and then in english and also no one. Interesting facts coming there. Sorry to break you, Mr. 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 Chaka. Interesting stories coming here, but so much in store for you. But for now, let's go back to you in studio. All right, uh, Larato, thank you very much indeed for your reporting. Larato Tipa coming to us live from Alice Dale in the Eastern.